Well, it has been a deadly few days on San Diego streets with seemingly endless reports of people behind the wheel who simply take off after they run somebody over or they smash into other cars. Another hit and run happened just this morning. And sometimes justice is never achieved, but in a case from this past weekend that took the life of a grandmother and toddler, it was a tow truck driver who helped lead investigators to the possible suspect. Carlos Correa joining us now in the newsroom to explain why these arrests rarely happen. Carlos. We called several tow truck companies and auto repair shops and found there really isn't a policy set in place to report suspicious damage and those hit and run crashes community activists say could be prevented. Dents, scratches, and debris are just some of the things auto repair shops see on a daily basis. And after working on so many cars, mechanics can almost always tell what caused the damage. If there's actually paint transfer, if there's rust, you can tell how long it's been, or if there's hair, you know, or something like that. And I've never seen, I've never can actually say that I've seen anything that's been hit by a human being, but I have seen quite a few cars that have been hit with my animals. There are several hit and run crashes currently being investigated from Vista to Pacific Beach and communities in between. There was a grandmother and a toddler killed on I-15. The suspect in that case was arrested after a tow truck driver reported the damage to officers, something they are not obligated to disclose. We have zero policy in place for reporting something um, that we suspect might be suspicious. It would be strictly something that internally uh, we would do on our own. These deaths are preventable by slowing speed. Speed kills. Leaders with Circulate San Diego, a nonprofit promoting more walkable and bikeable neighborhoods, say all these recent hit and run crashes are a reminder why its campaign, Vision Zero, is so important. Each of those hit and runs happened on corridors that we outlined as being more dangerous in the city where we know crashes are more likely to happen. Vision Zero is a coalition of business groups working with the city on one goal to get zero traffic deaths and injuries in San Diego by 2025. The resolution already passed city council and an action plan is in the works. And the bottom line is that traffic deaths like the hit and runs that we're seeing in our neighborhoods are preventable and we need city action uh, in order to prevent those deaths. A neighborhood symposium for Vision Zero is planned for Thursday, September 29th in Logan Heights. The group will share plans to create a culture of traffic safety through education and enforcement. The community is welcome to attend. Live in the newsroom, Carlos Correa, CW6 News.